Okay, now what I'm going to do is to join these two parts to each other and then I'm going to examine the intersect command. How can I do that? I'm going to uh, type C join here or because I'm in surface design environment, I can easily go to insert command under operations. I believe you can find join command, but here that's okay. This is one of the faces. This is another part of the face and that's okay. So I just click on okay. The join is created for me. Now I'm going to create a solid object here. So I go and click on this face because this is going to be my face here. I select sketch environment and let's create a circle like this. You can see that it is bigger than my original object and it's going to cover some of, um, some part of that. I'm going to create a pad. Again, I just type C colon pad here so that I don't have to go to part design environment. I'm going to have 100 millimeters in both directions. So I click on OK and this is my solid object and I have two faces here. Uh, let me hide this sketch. I don't need to this. Uh, I don't need to see this sketch. So I right click on that and click hide. Now I go to insert wireframe and I can select intersection command from here. What is the first element? Let's say this join is my first element. What is the second element? This is my second element. And you can see that I have two faces. They are in two different directions. So if I click on preview, it will show me some part of that. You can see that based on the new sketches that are visible here. If I click on that, this is going to appear for me. And it asks me, do I want to have some of the sub-elements or all of them? I'm going to have all of them. So I just uh, activate this, keep all the sub-elements and click on OK. Now my part is separate. How am I going to see that? I can easily go and hide pad 1. So you can see that this part is selected. So if I right click on intersect and go to properties, from here I can change the color. So let's go to feature the graphic and you can see that uh, graphic is not enabled. All I need to do is to click on more and after some time it's going to be enabled for me. So I click on more and wait for this uh, progress bar to finish. That will take some time as a matter of fact. And 50% and 100%. Now it is done. So let me click on OK and do it one more time. I go to Properties. Oh my god, Graphic is not enabled here. What about the Join? If I go to Properties, yes, for this I have Graphic. Let me see that this is going to be red. And the intersection is this part. You see that this part of the two items are common between these two. Now, uh, this is when I have intersection between two objects like that. I can go to pad and show it one more time. Maybe I want to move this a little bit to right so that you can see that this is going to be a little different. So I just press Ctrl Z to remove intersect command that I had done before. And now what I'm going to do is to double click on this pad go and click on this sketch environment. I'm going to move the circle a little bit lower like this. Grab the center. Uh, there is a constraint here that I needed to move it. Okay, now I can move this like that. And exit the workbench and click on OK. Now you can see that only one of the elements are uh, intersecting with this solid object. So I need to go to uh, wireframe intersection, pad is selected, so I need to select join and click on OK. This time you don't see anything about that. Now you can see that if I hide this, this part is the intersection between these two. Now I want to show you something else. Let me press Ctrl Z so that this is going to be created for me. I'm going to click on here, go to sketch environment and I'm going to create some sketch like this. And I'm going to exit 
and again I'm going to activate path command this time I'm going to go to the reverse direction and let's say that's going to be something like 50 millimeters click on OK and just to show this object I'm going to change the color so I go to properties and select some color like red for that now you can see that I have a red object here and I have this so if I double click on this you can see that on more it doesn't have a specific thing I wanted to make sure that these two are not part of something so let's go to intersect again if I go to intersection command my first object is pad 2 my second object is pad 1 if I click on OK this is this and you can see again do you want to keep all elements I want to keep all elements and click on OK now you can see this intersection if I right click on pad 2 and hide it you can see the part that is common between these two